Central Valley project was built with four objectives, water supply, hydroelectric power, recreation, and flood control. Not until the system was in place would its impact on ecosystems become fully evident. The dams blocked historic runs for fish returning to spawn, notably salmon. Evolution guides them to return from the ocean to the same rivers, the same gravel beds where they were born. Only now, in the wake of the water projects, the journey ends here. Today, the survival of salmon is dependent almost entirely on an unnatural process. Fertilization no longer occurs in pristine rivers, but instead, simply and unceremoniously, in a bucket. Meanwhile, the huge pumping stations in the delta actually reverse the estuary's inexorable flow towards the Pacific, often destroying vast populations of fish drawn into its own irresistible pull. The millions invested in two great engineering marvels would, by centuries' end, require billions to deal with the consequences. We have committed the sin of serial engineering. Uh, when it comes to the estuary. For every engineering effort or every engineering investment where we have tried to engineer a particular ecosystem service out of the Delta, there's been a cascade of effects. Each one of those effects requiring a new investment of engineering. Well, and that new investment of engineering begets the need for more engineering. And so we get locked in this cycle of serial engineering where we can't escape. The ecosystem is fundamentally changed. The delta and the estuary is gone. It's gone. We're dealing with something new now, a new system. 